We have here a Volvo HU8506 CD player stereo system and this comes out of various different models of Volvos and the aftermath you can see on the table here is a large part of this stereo system. I've stripped it down in order to find out what's wrong with it. The symptoms were that uh, it would occasionally work and not work. When you strip this right down to the very last PCB, which is always the way, isn't it? It's always the last PCB. You find this burnt patch here. And if you look on the opposite side of the PCB, you can see these two little power transistors. And these two little power transistors get so hot that they unsolder. <laughs> it's quite incredible, really. They get so hot, they unsolder the two little 1206 uh, SMD resistors that you can see on the other side of the PCB there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to fix this and we're going to fit it back in my mate's Volvo. With a little bit of luck, he'll be a happy guy. So the first mission is to make a heat shrink that covers these two transistors and then we'll get that glued down with some silicon heat transfer compound and also some ultraviolet glue and then what we're going to do is replace the two resistors on the rear here and we'll replace those with larger higher power resistors we're in the shed which is pretty much where all of the metalwork and woodwork takes place. So, whoops, <laughs> some tin snips here, some aluminium, aluminium. What we need is a sensible length of aluminium. <laughs> These are the uh, transistors here. They're in a TO252 package, D1760. Nothing particularly special about them, just sort of regular transistors really. So uh, yeah, if they need replacing, they won't cost a lot of money. Gone ahead and fashioned that little heat sink there. Um, and I put a few little keyholes on the back of it uh, in order to take on board some glue to make sure that this sticks down and doesn't fall around or doesn't fall out whilst the car's being driven and if I just seat that properly there you go you can see there's a millimeter or so of space pretty much all the way around that so uh, it won't short on anything so yeah that'll do it let's get that glued in <laughs> heat sink heat sink plaster we squirt a little bit of this heat sink plaster on top of these transistors here And then we fit this little chap. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some UV curing glue to stick that down. That's the heat sink. And uh, we'll get some UV curing glue on that in a second and just make sure it's locked in place so it doesn't go anywhere. But that hopefully should help with the heat dissipation. Now on the other side we need to replace those two resistors. Uh, let's get a little bit of this ultraviolet curing glue stuck in place. There we go. A lump of you on there, a lump of you on there. And this will just stop things from potentially moving around uh, whilst the vehicle's in motion. You, clearly you want to make sure that this heat sink stays in place. I actually said a heat sink instead of heat shrink. So the good stuff about this is um, you have the ability to be able to cure it with UV light. So uh, shield your eyes guys and girls. Let's get getting that UV light. And there we go. That glue should be going off at this point. Right, so there we go. Let's have a look at that. That's going to work a treat. Okay, let's get the resistors sorted.
is my neighbour's uh, stereo for the Volvo. The whole air conditioning system, the whole unit, needs to be uh, disassembled uh, before you can put the replacement radio in, which is this guy here. So uh, we'll get that in there, then we'll turn it on, and with a little bit of luck, it might not go bang or smoke or anything, and it might actually work. We'll see how we do. Oh, come on, mate. Stick it back in. I think it's there. Look at that. Spot on. Right. Turn it on, mate. Well, so... I need to put the battery in. Oh, yeah, we've got to put the battery in. <laughs> Andrew was a good boy, and uh, he went ahead <laughs> and disconnected the battery. Well done, mate. That's actually a really good idea. So we're just reconnecting the battery, and then we're going to turn things back on. <laughs> False start. So just before you turn it on, mate, tell us what did it do? It behaved erratically and used to just sort of come on full volume, even when it was switched off. Okay, and that was just sort of sporadically just... Sporadic. It, yeah, it just happened. Yeah, okay. Right, let's turn it on, see what happens. Okay, oh, I heard, I heard noises from speakers. I'm just going to go with talking because I'll get a copyright strike if it's. Uh, I'm, I'm going to claim success. I think so. I'm going to claim success. Fantastic. Good. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so when we first turned it on, there was a lot of clicking and whirring from the CD player. It looks like perhaps uh, the whole system needs to do like a bit of a boot up sequence and it took about 30 seconds so I was a little bit nervous because no sound was coming out of it I thought perhaps it wasn't working but the great news is is now it works so uh, happy days we've definitely fixed the Volvo HU850 radio cheers people have a wonderful week and weekend we'll see you in the next one bye for now <laughs>